You say good morning, man. Today, we're doing something a little out of the ordinary and we have not been vlogging very much. And it's not that things aren't happening, things are going on, it's just a lot of things that I'm not really wanting to share. So, um, today though, is a special day. What is happening today, man? I just wanted to, ha I just wanted to tell them what happened today. We went to the library and got it's like an audio book and I thought it was going to be on a CD that I could just kind of put in the car or something, but it's not. It's like a special device that you have to have speakers or a headphone hooked up to. And I don't have anything like that. My car is a bit older and so, um, yeah, we're going to have to do that at home. Yeah. But today is Friday and I'll, when... I'll tell, I'll tell. Okay, tell. So, um, what happens when get, Dad gets home from work? He's going to have... A vacation day! Yep. Officially, when Mitch gets home from work tonight, he has 10 days of vacation, and we're gonna be doing some fun things and vlogging. So Mitch has been a youth pastor for a number of years, as many of you probably know, um, but he has not been a youth pastor for the last few. But he still has a heart for youth ministry and for teenagers, and so he serves in our um, youth group at our local church. And so as part of that, tonight we are hosting a youth group event at our house and we are going to be feeding these kids, which is why I'm at the store to get some food. And we're going to have, what are we going to have? A lot of slide. It's a giant slip and slide, but I will take you along and I'll show you more about what that's going to be so you can see. But we're going to run into the store and get some food. You ready? Okay, you get you get your shoes on. You don't have shoes on yet. Get your shoes on, Tilly. No, no. Please, please get your shoes on. We have no, been no, running no. late to places this week because we can't locate Manny's shoes. So we got... Ba -ba -ba -ba. All, all right, go ahead and put them on. And it's been multiple shoes, so. Okay, let's get in the store. That's what we forgot to do. What? What were we gonna do in the store? We were gonna pull out the camera. <laughs> oh, it's so typical me, but I'll show you what we got when we get home. I really will show you what we got. Right, we'll show them what we got when we get home. How was that? Okay. Yummy? Yummy. I'll make this. Okay. So first, coffee, and then put some chocolate, and then you drink it, and it's really delicious. It's actually, he's been drinking this, it's um, not even actually coffee. I think you pronounce it Ticino. Um, I'll put the name right here on the bottom. It's like an herbal coffee almost, but it has no caffeine in it. And I've been drinking yeah. it lately because I've been trying to cut back on caffeine. And it's, I think it's really good. I got a hazelnut one and I just ordered some new ones to try. Um, but you brew it like coffee. I do it in a French press and it's really good. And he's been mixing it with chocolate almond milk so that it's kind of like a mocha and it's very yummy, huh? Yes. All right, let's get home. Bye. Okay, so we're home from the store and this is what I got. So I got just like some flour tortillas and then these like two boxes of taco shells. I, I'm i more a fan of like being able to wrap my taco, but I learned um, in with the youth group that we were with years ago, they gravitated toward these every time. So I just thought, well, I'll get a few of those. I got some peppers, um, tomatoes and stuff. I'm gonna do like a Spanish rice with that. I normally mix my own seasoning, but I was like, you know what, just for the ease of getting things around, I just got this seasoning packets, which I've never used before, <laughs> ever in my life. So, um, this should be interesting. I'll try them though. And then I just grabbed a few tomatoes, just a generic salsa, and a couple bags of chips. Um, and I got this, and I haven't bought anything dairy in several years so um but i'm like you know what i'm not gonna buy vegan cheese for kids who don't really care if they have vegan cheese or not because it's a lot more expensive so all of that put me at 15 dollars and 69 cents <laughs> which really isn't bad because some of the things i'm making i already had like i already had rice i have tons of lentils so i'm gonna do like 
the lentils with this kind of as a like a beef replacement I do that a lot with tacos um, and then I have like zucchini from the garden that I'm gonna roast with seasoning and like some cauliflower and corn and things like that and then all my greens are in the garden so here we go let's <laughs> let's put this together there, it's evening now and here's what I ended up doing as far as food goes okay this is just water with lemon and cucumber I made like a sweet tea this is like Spanish rice onions tomatoes lettuce this actually my brother had a bunch of ground beef um, that he cooked up for me to use so that it wouldn't have to be totally vegetarian for anyone who didn't want that. Um, here, I do this like it's sweet potatoes, zucchini, corn, and cauliflower. And just kind of taco season. Two salsas. And then these are the lentils. And the way I usually do the lentils is I like to just throw them in the crock pot for like four hours on high and it cooks them and then I wait until after they're cooked to season them. I read somewhere once that you're not supposed to season them until after they're cooked, like you don't season them early, you season them late. I don't remember where I read that or the reasoning or if that's even a thing, but I just always wait until the end to season them. So especially then if I have to drain water off or whatever, I don't have to worry about it. Um, but because it was already two o'clock and I was worried about not having enough time to cook them for four hours, I, um, I just brought them to a boil on the stove and let them boil for like, I don't know, five minutes and then put them in the crock pot and that like cuts an hour off of your cook time. So lentils that way are really easy because then I feel like when I do beans or lentils on the stove, I always end up like losing water because like it all burns off. Anyway, it just takes too much attention for me. So I like to be able to throw them in the crock pot and then walk away. So that's super nice. So it starts there. Hi dear. Hey. And it goes all the way down. There's my beautiful garden. It ends right there, you can see it. All right, here comes Mitch. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Woo! Now's the best time to go! Yes, man! Oh no! <laughs> I'm gonna make it to the bottom! <laughs> I made it! That's not an even in Oh, that hurt! <laughs> oh, that really hurt! Oh, uh, well, I ripped something. On your pants? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you want a towel while you cold? And then I'll give you a towel, but I want to get a video of you going down. You think you can go down the second half again? Yeah. Can you go up to like right here? You're too cold for mommy to get a video. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Hurry, do it fast, and then I'll go get you a towel. <laughs> go, go, go. There you go. Try there. That was this. This is still pretty. <laughs> no sliding, just. Uh. I don't have a towel. I want a warm bath. You want a warm bath? We need to get the plates out of Pastor Matt's van to bring to the table for eating. I'll do it! You wanna help me? No, I'll do it by myself. Okay, can I walk with you though? Yeah. Okay, we'll go this way. Okay. Yeah. Follow me, Mama. I will. Oh no, you're not, we're not gonna walk through the house because you've got grass over your feet. We'll go um, around. The garage door's not open, I closed it, so we'll go around the garage. Around the house. When Mitch and I were in college, we went to a really, really small university. There was like 200 students or something, like it was really tiny. Um, but every year, it was like the very beginning of the school year, before classes even started, like after freshman orientation and all that, we would have this giant slip and slide like this, but it was a pretty big hill. And every year, everyone would compete to who could go the farthest. And, Mitch won a lot. He would get super far. And so I was always like, that's my man getting the farthest. I don't know why it was like a cool thing. But we had so much fun doing it that that's something that we've, uh, we've done with all our youth groups. 
like over the years in youth ministry, we thought, this is such a fun event. We should keep this going. Here's the plates, buddy. Right here, I'll hand the top of the bag. There you go. And then we'll go back around this way. We're having the patio done. So like, there's these piles of like rocks just in the driveway. So it makes parking a little difficult, huh? What? It makes the parking kind of difficult because these are here. So people have to kind of park on the road or road. around. Eh. Luckily, we live on a private, a small private road. So like, it's not a big deal to park on the road and stuff. All right, come this oh, way. No, it's us. <laughs> See, like we had to take the steps that's right there is the steps and the railing off of the deck because they're doing a bunch of stuff down here like here's all the pavers that are gonna go in and then down here is where they're doing the patio but we had a huge storm so our landscaper has not been able to come the last couple days to work on it because he was doing a lot of emergency repair things bath and he's eating a taco how do you feel now man much better. I just went and picked up some go, zucchini and squash out of my garden. All right, George, you're up next. Honestly, I had no idea what to expect as far as how many kids were going to show up. Like, I didn't have a ballpark. And then I, I asked Mitch, like, shortly I'll before we got how, here. I'll tell you how many kids there are. Mom. <laughs> Am I one of the kids? Yes, you are, because no one is your mom. Oh, that's true. And dad, mm -hmm. he's a, he's a son. Yes, he's a son. And those two. Mm -hmm. And dad. What? Yeah. So I knew that like the early There's pastor a lot of kids. was gonna be here, and Mitch was like, there could be six kids, there could be twelve kids. We don't really know. Um, but he knew there wasn't gonna be something like twenty. So I made a lot of food, and three kids are here. Which is fine. Like, we've had youth events where less have shown up. And I've made food for tons. I just always make so much food. I don't know why I make so much food. But we'll have leftovers. We'll be eating tacos for a few days on Mitch's vacation, I guess. But, I mean, the point thing is that whoever showed up is having a good time, so. Okay. Don't rip it this time, all right? Well, that's why I'm doing this. No, no, I mean close this way. Do you see where that bend is? Oh. Right there? Be right there, by the, yeah, by get, the wood. Get low next to it, it's a good angle. <laughs> um, right You're where the that's good. tart pushes, that's where you want to be at. All right, I'm stuck on that. Like right here? Like, okay. Yeah, like right there, just really go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on. One, go. I was gonna make it! You were in the right line. You would have had it right here. I was gonna make it! I was gonna be somebody! <laughs> oh! That was amazing. This has been super fun. Wow! Alright. <laughs> he used to grab Matt and pull him back. No, I did not. I, I was right focusing every, just on right filming. Right I went past him, he's just like, eh! <laughs> <laughs> oh. All right. So you're officially on vacation. Oh, I know. So awesome. I'm so tired. Yeah. yeah. It was a long day. I was um, actually sharing about how we had the slip and slide at college. Mm hmm And didn't you, like, always get the furthest? <sighs> you, like, you were always, like, in uh, the top in Three. Field. Or, yes. like, someone would steal it. Until my final there. year of college, I would get the farthest... And then the last run, there was one of two guys, depending. Oh. Okay, why do our lights? I don't know. One, one light, cuts uh, in and cuts out. That's all Like, well, I'll turn the light on, and, like, within five minutes, all of a sudden, they get brighter. Yeah, one cuts in and cuts out. It just oh, okay. warms up and turns on. I didn't know if it was like, oh, you've been in here for a while. We'll put full power on. Nope. I didn't know if it was, like, some energy-conserving thing. No. Yeah. So anyway. in college, it was one of, one of the three of us. We were always in the top three going back and forth with each other and then except for my last year every year that I did it the very last run one of the other guys would move it just an inch farther like they would grab like a like a traffic a cone, cone yeah and they would have to like 
move it as far as their arm could reach. Yeah. And so and that was so like they the move it marker. Like, they move it like an inch farther at the very last run. And it was just like, oh. But you had a special shirt. I wore And you never wore that shirt only once a year for slip and slide. I was just thinking of this like, today. Like, that's my slip and slide And I shirt. remember when you got rid of it because I was like, you never wear this shirt. And you were like, well, it's my slip and slide shirt. I'm like, but you're like, you don't mm. need it anymore. You're like, oh, yeah, and you got rid of it. But yeah. I do remember. You, it was the mm. only time you ever wore it because it was like, it was. It and it wasn't like, oh, it was a lucky shirt. It just, it was a light skin. Yeah. It was that it. it it slicked well. It was real slick. Yeah. So my last year in college, the very last time I was doing it, we're up there at the top of the hill. I had the farthest distance at that point. I'm like, this is going to be a repeat of every other year. And then a group of girls went before us. They ran, they jumped, and they tore the slip and slide. And they said, all right, we're closing it down. So I'm like, yes, finally. <laughs> so I didn't I didn't know that. Yeah. That's how it ended. I was there. Yeah. I just don't remember every year. But. Mm hmm I only went down it a couple of times. Uh, I, I raced it all the time. Yeah. It was fun, though. Anyway. Little spider. Oh, there's a spider. Oh, I get it. Oh, Ooh, I don't like it because sometimes I'll be awake and I'll see them. Like, mm. I'll find one, like, crawling. And I'm like, how many of those are, like, crawling across our face when we're asleep? <laughs> That's a horrible feeling to think about like stop <laughs> like that's the thing is you 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 wake up in the night and one's crawling on your face well, and then you feel it if it's crawling hours. right here you'll never feel it yeah i actually still all in long here and on it's like basically you can see where my scar is above my scar up to about where your face here. was peeled open everywhere like when they cut this and peeled it up everywhere the skin was detached I don't have feeling on like the surface of my skin. Like I can, if I have an itch. You can feel subdermally though. Yes, but not. I can, yeah. No surface. Yeah, not on the surface. So like, if something's touching me really gently, no, I wouldn't be able to feel it. Like, but if a spider was crawling and then all of a sudden got to here, I'd feel that. And then, ugh. <laughs> so gross. Anyway, we're gonna go to bed. No, yeah, guys. Because it's been. It's been day and tomorrow. We're, I don't know what we're doing yet. We'll talk mm, about it. We'll see. We got a couple of chores to get done, but lots of fun. Alright. Hit the light, babe. Alright. <sighs> Good night. Now I can't find the record button. <laughs> because is this it? Wait, no. <laughs> Where is it? Ah! You can't have to turn the light back on. <laughs>